Fuck me. Alright, now you should be able to hear me. Is that a yes? Sorry, the fucking mic's all fucked up right now. Lurking and working, Chester, okay. You're not, you can't be lagging, I'm not doing anything yet. I, okay, good. You can hear me. <laughs> well, you should know me by now, so. Alright, guys. I have, again, let's, let's get this shit started. A tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now. Interesting. The smallest decision can dramatically change the future. Your actions will shape how the story unfolds. Your story is one of many possibilities. Choose your actions carefully. Well then. Nice. All these graphics are gorgeous. <coughs> Shit. Oh dear. Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. Don't you guys think this is a little bit cruel? Oh, come on, she deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my hand. I'm not making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. Just because he's class pres doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em. I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. Can I pause it? Probably. Hold on. Okay. Uh, subtitles don't look like it's an option just yet. I don't see subs as an option yet, guys. I'll do it after this cutscene. Alrighty. Now, here we go. Here's settings, guys. Alright, I'm putting on subtitles. There you go. Oh. Ah, fixed camera angles. Liking it. I have no idea where I am going. Can I turn the camera? No, I can't. Okay. Yo. You're breathing. 100% blind, yes. Hmm. 
<laughs> as you can pl plainly see, because I have absolutely no idea where I'm going. What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> well then, okay. I want to touch everything. I want to look at everything. Guys, I know that there's totems in this game. If I'm going to miss one, tell me. I walked right by where I needed to be. Are you serious? <laughs> Derp. Look for the sparkles. Oh, I see sparkles over there. Wrong side? Yep, wrong side. Oh, okay. This makes more sense. Tutorial. Use the right stick to look around at objects. Objects that glint can be inspected. Uh, yeah, I, I noticed that. Oh, okay. Hold R2 to pick up bottle. Jeremy Craig. Yeah, assuming we know where they are, yeah. Jeez, Josh. Thank you. Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Dude's trashed. <laughs> Oh, okay, that's just still that. No, I'm good. I'm good on that. Look for more glinties. Glintiness. Okay, that's a glinty. What is this? No, no shit. Why do you keep giving me tutorials? Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you are even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Mike. X, X, X. Sister, get herself into now. I guess we're about to find out. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. This guy seems like a complete scumbag. Wow, what scumbags. Uh, okay. Choose what? Wake Josh, find the others. Well, my- oh, okay, looks like I chose Wake Josh. Josh! Josh! Fuck! Guys, there's someone outside. Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, I'll Hannah, do that next time. Where are you? Well, guys, follow Shadow, follow Footprints.
No footprints. Alrighty. Yo, that's nuts. Whoa. Okay. Again, with the fixed camera angles, it's fucking with my head. Alright, I can only go in the direction I'm going, so... First totem is soon? Okay. Oh, multitasking. I don't like it. <laughs> I can't multitask. Hello? Hello? This is nuts. Guys, I found it. Whoa. Death totem. So that is a possible way she can die? Yes? I can actually look at them again? That's cool. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, wait. I'll try that again. Oh, that's it. That's the whole thing. Okay, that, that makes sense. So, that looks like I can fall and die. Okay. Guidance. Loss. Danger. And fortune. Why did death have to be the first one? That makes sense, okay. Guys, I want you to make sure I don't kill Beth, so if you know what I need to do, you tell me. Huh? Bitch. This fast? Did she get me all the way down here already? What the fuck? What the hell was that? Yeah, good question. What the fuck was that? Hannah. Hannah. Hello? Hannah. Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. Hannah's an idiot. <laughs> What? Anna, I think you should run. Yeah, run, run, run. Anna. Oh, well, there goes the phone.
Oh shit! I'm so sorry. What? I done fucked up. in order to move forward but there is freedom in this revelation everything you do every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future i want you to remember this okay. i want you to remember this as you play your game every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you to command with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. That reminds me of a Sometimes. twisted Dr. Phil. Sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through. Mm -hmm. All right. We will start with a simple exercise. He reminds me of a twisted Dr. Phil. And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. Okay. It is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Alrighty. Grab it. So they were supposed to die, so that all makes sense now, okay. Huh, that's just a scarecrow. That's that's cool. <laughs> I like it. Okay. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Uh, doesn't bother me. <laughs> oh, that's good. In what way did it make you happy? Uh, it's peaceful, I guess. I mean, it doesn't bother me. I, I like scarecrows, so that doesn't scare me. That's interesting. So, would it make you happy to spend the whole week here all by yourself? Uh, but I, sure. I suppose. Huh. And what if I told you that this cottage was haunted? <laughs> yeah, fuck that. No, that's different. Oh, what lies beyond the veil of death is, after all, the ultimate unknown. And what could inspire fear more than the terror of uncertainty? Oh, I'm sorry we're out of time for this session. We'll talk again very soon. I mean, I could probably try to change the quality settings, but that requires me to turn off the stream and restart it. Alright, so that's- that's the- if that was the plot point, this is- I go back, obviously. Now it makes sense. Getting chills. Good music. Good music. Well, 
I, I, I'll, I just hope it's not, it's royalty free, so I don't have to worry. It's beautifully morbid. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein, investigation. Thanks for having me. Nice. There's an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this. And that, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together. And I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so, let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! Memento Mori, 10 hours until dawn. Well then. Man, this guy just doesn't want to go away, does he? <laughs> Sam, Hannah's best friend. Considerate, adventurous, diligent. Read that in the wrong order, but who cares? Hello? Someone there? I'm already doing that.
I have. Hold on a second, hon. Hold on a second. Guys, there's going to be a drop in the stream for about two, three seconds. Oh, did we have a. Oh, whoever took care of that fucking spammer. Thanks. I didn't even see them. Um. Give me one moment, Asa. Uh, Asa I'm going to try something. Guys, there's going to be a cut in the stream for about two seconds. <laughs> 